Every device you use has an interface. Some interfaces are awesome, and others range from mildly frustrating to throw your computer off a building frustrating. I wanted to see what it would be like if some humans acted like some computers. Like when computers respond too slowly. Would you like a lemonade? Uh, yes please. Yes, please. Yes. Yes, I would like a lemonade. Yes. Five lemonades coming up. Have you ever tried setting the time on one of these? How many napkins would you like? Uh, four please. One. No. Two. No. Three. No. Four. No. Wait, yes. Five. No. Six. No. Seven. No. Eight. No. Nine. No. Ten. No. One. No. Two. No. Three. No. Four. No. Wait. Five. No. Six. Or when you're not expecting your phone to do this. Say cheese. Cheese. I'm sorry, I'm out of storage. Oh, oh excuse me. Can I please have a glass of water? Sorry, but my order pad is out of space. Oh, it's all right, it's just there, you could just grab it. Sorry, but my order pad is out of space. Do you mind if I just get it? As I said before, my order pad is out of space. For anyone to use a digital device, they have to use an interface. Having a good interface is critical to the success of any software that you develop. It's not just about where you place things on the screen or what colors you use. It's about having an understanding of both ends of the system, the device and the human. The field of human and computer interaction, or HCI, is about understanding how people think and how they behave and coming up with ways to help them avoid making mistakes or getting frustrated with the digital device. Would you like a lemonade? 